creative ambition. And you referred to it slightly when you said that the actors here, because of Shaw, because of Stratford, because there is this verbal transition uh, tradition where there are skills needed yes. and there are tools needed. Yes. And you bring that to your acting and whether I'm acting in. I want to talk about ambition for young actors. Mm -hmm. Not that our ambition was better for our generation, mm -hmm. you know, we wanted, but how do we foster, how do we foster younger performers to have the greatest artistic ambition and not career ambition? Career ambition's great, have it. But it's artistic ambition. What produces the Robert Lepages, or produces right. the Martha Henrys, That's what right. produces produces the Judy Denches, yeah. what produces the Helen Mirrens, what produces the Fiona when she's doing her best and she's driving in that direction. Especially because so much of television is not telling our stories and 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 um, telling somebody else's story and so much more of of being a performer is about marketing yourself now and 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 quite simply young actors are coming out of theater schools having produced their own shows having done their own lights having done so so i i applaud that i only had to come out of university and my acting classes knowing how to do one thing so i applaud that multiple skill level that people have um, that being said, I think now there's this whole thing about being authentic that I don't quite understand because I'm only ever authentic when I'm somebody else. <laughs> so the idea of, I think I've always fought against celebrity. So it's weird because some people would say, oh, Fiona, you're, you were so ambitious. You were ambitious for Fiona Reed. But I only ever wanted to be successful in as much as I portrayed other people. And I wanted to quiet whatever a Fiona was that didn't serve that other person. I only ever wanted Fiona to be raw material. Well, celebrity doesn't reside in that. And, and TV personas don't reside in, in that kind of acting. So maybe I'm after something that's completely arcane. But I choose to think that that the Judy Denches and the Emma Thompsons and the, the Susan Wrights um, and, and the Martha Henrys were about that same thing, becoming somebody else. Um, right back in university, um, a, a teacher I had over from England said, you know, you aren't becoming somebody else yet. You're just playing yourself. And so my mission has always been to be someone else. And I'm not sure that Everybody wants that to be their mission. They want to be their essential self and, and subvert the script to their essential self. And that's just simply, I'm simply not interested in that. So I think an artistic journey resides in, like why would I ever want to do a show like London Road, for example, where we did, uh, what's it called? It's called, oh, it's a testimonial. What's it called? You're, you're taking the live dialogue of somebody and you are imitating their voice, but you're completely imitating their voice, and you're doing it to music of their voice. Somebody's actually written a score of their <coughs> voice. Um, um, and, and doing that with actors like Ben Carlson and Steve Ross and Damian Atkins. And what, what, are you, what are you doing when you're doing that? Well, it's the collectivity. It's art as a collective. It's art as being directed. It's I can only be as good as you are. I can only do this with you. And I think theater exists in that realm. So art exists, what Robert Lepage does, he doesn't know on day one what he has. It's that we together create something bigger than the sum of our parts. And that's why it's hugely about trust. It's hugely about um, uh, the unknown and venturing into the unknown. And I think as much as I want to have the wallet of someone who has a TV career, um, unless there's rehearsal, what am I doing? What am I actually doing?
without rehearsal. What am I doing if it's, oh, could you come over from your trailer and can we just run these lines? And I'm not sure what that is. And, and I've had to make money doing it. And I'm, maybe there's a reason why I'm getting that work less. But, you know, you probably know as well as I do. You get a theater contract a few months in advance. You've got to be free and out of work for a year and dealing with your demons.